so you want to make your inputs like pubg mobile so in this video i'll show you that how you can make so first of all we'll be open our unreal engine then go in games click on next then we'll be set out 100% template click on next we'll be set it for mobile and make sure we set it to non standard content we'll be use blueprint code and the quality should be 3d and 2d then we'll be give it our name that pubg mobile yeah uh, okay the mobile spell <laughs> wow what the mobile uh, okay now it's mobile now let's create okay so here is our template now let's modify this template so we can use this template in our mobile so for doing that first of all we'll be delete some you know from non users that we can't or we don't use in you know our game so then we'll be go settings project settings and now at the project settings we'll be search first of all mobile and you find that the uh, unreal engine gives some inputs like for you so if they give so just click on clear if they didn't get if they didn't give so just click a new touch setups and just save why you want okay so when it's done you make sure that always show the touch interface make sure enable then you need to go add inputs okay so at the inputs you find like there's lots of inputs okay so then you need to search that MOUSC mouse then make sure your use mouse touch so we can our in our editor we can uh, you know we can control this mouse cursor okay so one is done now we'll be set up our projects or our TTP player to we can first of all we'll be uh, work about the control of the camera so for doing that just search our player just go inside of this player then we'll be go in the viewport and make sure this follow camera like the screen arm or the camera boom make sure that it's using the use point control rotations okay so when it's done now we'll be go at the event graph okay at the event graph you see they already give some default touch inputs so just remove them also make sure that you remove these uh, mouse inputs okay because you should be disable these mouse inputs or it will be not work so then just cut it paste it here and remove these codes okay so here's your codes so also compile and save now now we need to now what will we do just connect it with this like that okay now we need to search that touch so at the touch now from the touch we need to create a a variable so just at the variable create a vector value or vector 2d value pc tore vector vector 2d and you find like this that vector 2d just create this and give it name that start locations when it's done compile and save now i need to create a custom event custom event and now we need to give it the name update post compile and save okay so first of all now we need to drag this and kind it with place and release so when it's done we need to now from add move we need to call our custom event that update post then at our update post we need to create a inputs or a parameter at the parameter we need to add the boolean data to vector 2d vector 2d and we can give it name that update post now compile and save now at here we need to break down this split and then connect it with the, with the start point also at the start location just split it and break down okay from now at the locations we need to break it so break vector break vector break vector now 
this x connected with x and the y connected with y same for the x and same for the y okay from now at here just get the start locations from at here just minus it with the vector 2d just connect with this now from at here we need to slash okay or slash or divided that vector slash or divided float so this float is uh, the speed of your touch that how much touch it should be controlled okay so we'll be set it 5 so when it's done we'll be split it or break down so at the breakdown now we found like this that x with our area yeah, and the uh, y is our pitch so our y and pitch are connected now we'll just set with this now compile and save so now let's test it that how it's working so just compile and save now play and as you can see our camera is working like when we touch now right sides or just camera up down left right we can see it okay as you can see our first camera touch is done now we need to set the control of that we can go forward back left and right so for do that we already you know that we create a touch interface just open it then you need to enable the unreal engine content folder i can go ahead and at here now at controls just click on this plug add element now open this zero element now at here just search that vir so we'll be just add our virtual joysticks uh, the image so vir and this kind of like this compile and save now at the center will be set it to 150 then minus 200 and from this virtual size will be 100 train by 100 train and the thumbnail size will be give 110 by 110 and uh, interface size uh, that 50 or you can give uh, maybe 50 is good so if this big or small will be fix this as later okay so now as the main uh, inputs will be just click on known and at the game plate uh, will be such that X then the second one will be set gameplay uh, thumbnail that Y access compile and says make sure your auto delay is active okay that uh, this one compile and save now saved all and now let's play and as you can see our thumbnail is ready and as you can see with the thumbnail we can go left right and down but as you can see the th uh, thumbnail size is I think it's some bad so this one should be 50 this one should be 110 and as you can see it's now pretty enough good okay like here our PUBG kind of like touch kind of like the touch input like PUBG is now ready we can now control this with forward we can control with this we can do like this so I just hope you like my video. If you have any question, you can comment in my comment box. In next video, we'll update it more. We'll be export this game for Android. Then we'll be checked. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you all and bye bye.